in the world today, we have to be very cautious of our social networking and our business development efforts because we want to be very careful that our social networking isn't making us look like we're human trafficking or creating slave in someone. You see, creating a slave of someone is when you start to play with someone's life as if it's a game or a video situation. You see, there's a lot of strategy games that are available to us like Quest and other things such as Magic that are available to us in game centers where a lot of the geeky guys go to play and some women who go to stay. But the truth is we don't have the right to take a human being and make them a game. That is illegal and highly immoral. God has a plan for every human being's life, and at no time do you have the right to lord over someone's life. At no time do you have the right to turn someone into a human slave for you, and at no time do you have the right to give someone finances or physical support in some way, fiscal support, apologize, in some way, and then you have the right to do something to them in some way that they don't know about or that they know about, requiring them to do it because you did that. That is illegal. The lies that people tell themselves is that they think they have the right to approach a stranger and piss all over them. There are appropriate ways in which we meet people casually when we go places and do things, but there are other people that target people and abuse their time, abuse their lifeline, abuse their opportunities. You have to be very careful in how you approach people, what you do, and what you say, because otherwise you look like you're a part of a human trafficking crew, and nobody wants to be a part of that. It's immoral, as I've said, it's illegal, absolutely, and you can be placed in jail for producing a slave. Slavery was outlawed a long time ago, but human traffickers often use electronics and things that are illegal to use on a human being. You have no right to put a ping on a human being to make them your slave. At no time do you have the right to stalk someone, walk behind them in a community, or steal things from their property bags. At no time can you do this. The liars of America always solicit people that are busy and they play games with their own lives because if a man is angry, he will hit physically and intellectually, psychologically and emotionally, and he will knock you to the floor if you think you have rights to him in any way. You don't. Nobody needs you to do that. If you want to meet someone, you do it socially appropriate ways. If you don't know what those things are, go to the library and learn the books that tell you how to do that.